Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Northside Trizzy back in another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys our top three center builds on NBA 2K21 as of right now. Keep in mind, I cannot stress this enough, every build in this game next gen is overpowered. However, it depends how you use it, depends on your play style, the end of the day, so customize based off that. But these are just the builds that are common right now. You're seeing these a lot in the park, you're seeing these a lot in rec. So I thought I'd show it to you guys, show you guys the top three that I've seen everywhere. That way you guys can, you know, pick your poison. Obviously, we are gonna make him into the center position and obviously right or left is your choice, number is your choice. The whole hand thing's amazing it does not make you better at shooting people just made that up in the community now when it comes to height we are gonna go with 610 this is the height that most guys are using in rec and for park it depends on your place at the end of the day when it comes to weight we're gonna lower this bad boy to around 237 pounds and we're gonna lower his wingspan to seven foot also the build type does not affect your build in any way as you can see i'm changing them the stats do not change it's all you know aesthetic whatever you guys want i went with builds it doesn't really matter next on to the attributes make sure you do copy my attributes to the t if you know lower one or something like that you are gonna maybe lose a bad so make sure you do max it out once you do do what i do that's when you can go back and adjust it if you want you guys can change it up a bit to your preference however off the rip we're gonna make our close shot an 85 you know driving layup a quick 85 Driving dunk, we're not going to max out, and we're going to max out standing dunk. This is a guy people are using for, you know, the four on Pro-Am, or to run center on uh, Park. So it's really up to you guys how you guys want to play him. Also, he can shoot. That's the main thing. This guy can obviously stay in the paint. He's got that standing dunk, and he can chuck up threes. He has no playmaking at all, because, you know, you're not passing. If you're playing the third at Pro-Am, you're playing the third at Park, there's no point of you passing. You know, it's fine. You're not actually going to play center 6'10". If I was to make this build, you end up getting 13 finishing badges, 13 shooting badges, and 22, you know, defensive badges. So, in my personal preference, if you're making this build, you're more of a guy that likes to play the four in pro am, maybe, maybe even the three at pro am, or you're playing center at park, maybe even the two at park. But you're not actually playing center with this build. This build is only this height because you're getting more badges for you know, bang for your buck. If you were to lower your attributes right there, you guys can see you lose a badge. However, in my opinion, this is the best build if you want to play that play style. If you play a different play style, it's your choice. Obviously, when it comes to takeover, it's your choice at the end of the day. You get the rim takeovers, glass clean takeover, shooting, you know, slashing, whatever you guys want. Once again, like I said, pick your poison, your play style. How do you plan on using this player, integrating it into your team with your friends? I personally end up going with spot up position and then the slashing one with easy blow buys because that's how I would use this player. And once he's created right here, you guys can see this is a very common build in 2K right now. A two way, three level score. A lot of guys are using this. Two way scoring machines, two way, three level scores. A lot of guys are going with builds like this. Who are power forwards and centers but just super you know low at height so they get more badges and better attributes next up we have another good build but this guy is also short so once again obviously you guys know the drill center pick your hand pick your number does not really matter this is a build nadex actually went with i saw him live stream it he went with 6 9 220 pounds and 7 foot 7 wingspan obviously you guys know the way nadex plays he plays that twos game that twos score all the time so he's clearly gonna be playing center when he has another guard friend or small forward friend playing with them so if you're gonna play twos i would say this is probably the best build out there right now right off the rip you guys already know if this is a twos build it's gonna be made to score you have gotta score otherwise you kind of use it on the team so right off the rip right there you guys can see we're gonna be maxing out most of our finishing badges you know game show you can dunk and get those standing dunks and obviously we want to shoot we don't want to just be you know slashing all the time guys are gonna know how to defend that we want to get the most shooting badges most finishing badges and obviously we want to play make as well you're about to see right here as you can see pass that because you're playing twos you're not really chucking the court there's no full court passes going on you want to be quick with the ball and you want to make sure you have enough high enough ball handle as a center that you're able to move quick now, like I said, this is a twos build, so obviously if you're playing the two, you know, you're playing the center, you want the interior defense, you don't care about perimeter defense, you don't care about steel, we want block and we want rebounds, we want to get boards, and we want to hold the paint down to ourselves while our guard can, you know, guard the three. Obviously, when it comes to stamina, you want to be quick and all that, max everything out except for strength, make strength to a 62, and there you have it, you have a pretty good twos build in my opinion right there. If you follow this exact same recipe, you can get 11 finishing badges, 17 shooting, 3 playmaking, 25 defensive, 3 playmaking, you only get 2 playmaking badges, you guys can see right there. You guys can upgrade a bit right there, you guys can see like i said adjust it a bit make it to your personal preference i changed up his build a bit here at the ending make whatever you guys want is what i'm saying it's up to personal preference this is the way he plays the game right here you guys can see these are the badges you're able to get with this player so right there you can get down to hall of fame quick first step is probably what you want in this game everybody wants it in hall of fame adjust your stats a bit try to get that as you see he gets a bunch of defensive badges everything a man needs when it comes to playing twos there's no way he's gonna get beat on boards and all that stuff and then obviously he gets no you know real playmaking badges because like i said he barely upgraded his playmaking but obviously when it comes to shooting and when it comes to finishing that's where this player is going to exceed on the twos court he's going to be able to blow by people he's going to, be able to shoot the three ball and he'll be able to defend if you want to play twos this is probably the build to go however keep in mind at the end of the day you're going to get pulled down with some centers that's running you know the post scoring takeover and stuff like that that's some cheesy builds but obviously right here i went with you know once again 
shot of precision and then easy you know blow by it and he gets called a paint beast is this really a paint beast i don't know they probably you know base it off of the badges however like i said it's your choice the name should not bother you in my opinion this game at the end of the day the name can be whatever it all depends on what the build is able to do only you know that truth this way here is gonna be the build that i would go with an nba 2k21 i'm not playing center this year I got my friend playing it however this is the one you go to go with 7-3 got this guy's weight up to 265 max out his wingspan you cannot go wrong with this build Every year in 2K, there's always going to be a 7-3 glass cleaner, you know, guy that sees everything, guys that get the board. He's going to be the ultimate GOAT when it comes to pro am games. You got to understand what this guy's meant for. His close shots, obviously going to max that out. We're going to max out his standing down post controls because we want this guy to get the defensive board, put it back up. Obviously, he's not shooting threes. Also, he's not shooting free throws, let's be honest here. Now, next up, when it comes to pass accuracy, you're going to pick it to a 76. You can also increase this a bit by, you know, lowering some of the physical attributes because obviously we want to we get a defensive board. We want to, you know, chuck that ball break so to get it to our shooters who are already three point nine get some quick and easy threes obviously you're gonna be seven foot three you want to get all those boards clearly that's what we're here for get those blocks don't let anybody come into your paint and clearly you know we're gonna want the interior defense a lot of guys are posterizing the centers this year and i think 2k is gonna nerf that they're gonna you know may balance it out more because everybody and their dad can dunk in this game it makes no sense right here you guys can see all the hall of fame badges are getting intimidated you clearly want that hard question these are whatever boards you know defensive leader you need that box brick wall these are things you want as a center you cannot go wrong with a seven foot three pure glass cleaner in no way shape or form also this year for some reason you can get a dimer because 2k has messed this up in my opinion the badges are insane the amount of badges players are able to get by you know doing different type of stats and changing it just one number is insane obviously no shooting badges but once it comes to these finishing badges we want these posterizer lob city finisher all these badges are just gonna make you better in my opinion like i said you cannot go wrong with this build this is a pro-am build can you play the park probably will he be the best at park probably because he's getting all those boards and he, if he can you know play properly if you can survive your stamina you know not be too slow you can get it and like i said it's your choice obviously see the future we want to see where the ball is going that's the point now this year you get a second takeover i went with one of the you know defensive ones perimeter interior drop badge guy comes into the paint you know i'm dropping him that way he doesn't posterize me this is a real paint beast in my opinion that's what it should be called all right guys with that being said this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching if you're new to the channel please make sure you do like and subscribe and turn on post notifications we're posting every day tomorrow i'm coming out to the top three point guard builds so if you're looking forward to that make sure you subscribe share this video with your grandma your dad your friends that we're trying to touch 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year that being said you guys already know who it is man it's your boy trizzy hope you have a wonderful day and i'm out peace